Hi, my name is Gina Schuyler, and I oversee career and technical education, as well as careers and community partnerships in Grays Lake District 127. I support both Grays Lake North as well as Grays Lake Central. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what a career pathway is, and more specifically, how you are able to be endorsed in a career pathway uh, upon graduation from either school, Grays Lake North or Grays Lake Central. So what I want to highlight today is the goals that we have of the video that you are watching. I'd like to highlight what the Illinois State Career Pathway Endorsement is. Um, explain how you can receive an endorsement uh, in a specific career pathway. So for instance, if you are interested in health science, um, if you are interested in education, engineering, uh, IT, we're able to endorse you in all of those different areas. And what an endorsement does, an endorsement um, opens doors to scholarships, opens doors to preferred hiring, um, opens doors to different things like apprenticeships. Um, and so we wanna teach you how to obtain that um, how to think about next steps after high school, as well as how to utilize that. So today is more of an awareness that you have an opportunity to be involved in this. And we wanna highlight both how students and employers benefit from you being involved in the community, which is one of the aspects of achieving career pathway endorsement. And then we want you to begin thinking about your areas of interest as far as what your goals are during high school, as well as after. We really want you to, during high school, put things in two buckets. When you take a class, whether it's a core class or an elective, we're hoping you think about I, you know, things like, I like that class and I wanna learn more about it, or I didn't like that class and here are the things I didn't like about it. Either are things that we support while you're in high school. This is a time of exploration, a time for you to determine your likes and your dislikes. So when you make choices for after high school, those choices are a little bit more um, narrowed down for you. This is what the endorsement framework looks like. And what we do is there are specific activities, 9th, 10th, 11th, uh, and 11th and 12th grade. Um, your freshman year, um, we had you look at um, creating an individual plan. What that was, a lot of you might remember doing youth science. It was a set of 11 brain-based games where we identified your career pathway of interest. Next then, we have some different areas where you're taking classes in that um, area of interest. Specifically, we want you to take a couple classes that have what's called early college credit. And then this green part is for you to be able to have part of your education, not only be here at Grays Lake District 127, but also be out in the community. We want you to do paid or unpaid internships, get employed in areas that you want to study. We want to take you to different career areas so that you're able to see what it's like to work in an atmosphere like that. So again, this blue framework um, of a career pathway is making a plan. And by no means do we want you to freshman year choose a career um, that you wanna go into for the rest of your life. But what we want you to do is think about, do you know what you don't wanna do? Um, do you have some ideas of what you want to learn more about? You might be watching this and you might want to learn about computers or you like technology. We would want you to begin becoming familiar what, with what our district has to offer as far as classes um, like computer science, or web classes or mobile makers. We want you to be aware of, of the different offerings that our district has. Once we identify a career pathway for you, we put this into power school so that anybody working with you is able to assist you, um, whether that's an English class and you are writing a paper on a what if, um, we'd hope you'd maybe want to turn to this and help yourself investigate a little bit more about what your pathway might be so that, again, you can use high school as a time to narrow down your likes and your dislikes. Use science is the tool that we use. Don't forget, you can always sign into your use science. You have access to that for the next 10 years, or you can research different uh, careers as well as colleges. The next part is picking your classes. We really want you to, when you are picking your classes, think about the career you're interested in or might be interested in. And if you are interested in certain areas, whether it be health science, education, engineering, we have a lot of classes in the district that are offered in those areas, but also have dual credit, meaning you're earning a college transcript at the same time you're earning a high school transcript in some of those classes. And in order to get 
your endorsement, at least two of your classes need to be in an area of early college credit. That can be AP classes, that can be dual credit, or that can be articulated. And we'll learn more about that during the school year. This next part is the part that we're most excited about, and this is this green section. We really want you to be able to apply some of the skills that you're learning in class out into the community. We have an internship coordinator this year. So if you are interested in the education pathway, we can get you connected with a local elementary school to spend time during the day going out and visiting and actually involving yourself in classes. If you're interested in engineering or the trades like construction or welding, we have employers that are very interested in getting to know our students after they've taken a couple of the classes in order for you to further develop that determination of, I, I like it. Maybe you like it here, but when you go out into the employer site, you might not like it as much or your love for that career might grow even more. We want you to be able to narrow down those things. So that's why we have an internship coordinator and an internship class that you can take for credit and leave during the day to be involved with an employer. The last part is we make sure that you are academically ready. So here are some examples where what we do with the information, um, we list the internships that the students attend, any of experiences. On this one, a student did a Zoom uh, with an intro to the medical field. Another student uh, went and she did her CNA at Libertyville Manor, and we keep track of all of those different hours for you. Here are some benefits from the endorsement process. Ultimately, we want you to explore. We want you to be aware. We want you to get feedback from someone other than just your instructor. We want you to begin networking and we want you to be better prepared for your next steps. This is an example of a health science pathway um, where you're able to take some classes. This happens to be through the College of Lake County's Tech Campus, um, but also here we have anatomy and your science courses. And then later, you're also able to involve yourself in some different clubs and activities, such as the Future Health Club. Um, we have different speakers that come in. Um, we really wanna utilize our heritage speakers um, in a lot of our different pathways. And then we're offering different job shadows and internships in these areas. Many of the medical areas for health science offer some different dual credit. And these are things you want to be thinking about as you're choosing classes. Does the class offer you both regular credit and dual credit, either through AP, dual credit, or articulated credit? This is an example of another pathway where if a student's interested in the education field, these are some areas that they can take as far as classes and the green are ways they can get involved in the community or through our clubs. As I said, many of our pathways offer the opportunity for you to have scholarships. And this is an example of our education pathway and how you can get preferred incentives um, through some different colleges and universities. So my ask number one is to make sure that your education is taken, taking an active role. We want you to have experiences that are outside the classroom. Um, so I want you to either visit me, visit your counselor, visit our internship coordinator to find out how can I take the learning that I'm doing inside the classroom and turn that into an internship or uh, an externship or um, also a, a paid job experience. Dana Odo is our internship coordinator. And so my second ask is that you connect with her. Connect with her so that we can find out if there are different ways that we can help you achieve endorsement so that you can take your education here in District 127 to the next step. This is my information. So if I can be of any help to you as you're learning more about your career pathway, please let me know. I'm here to help you. And I'm excited that you are going to start a journey on a career pathway here in Grays Lake District 127.